Okay, welcome to Wednesday's Book Talk. Um, the first book I wanted to show you was a graphic novel I found on Epic. It's epic, Epic, Epic. Okay, and there's thousands of books, so just searching around and finding what might be cool. It's really such a good idea. Now, this book is called Quantum Mechanics, and it's about this like ragged group of mechanics that work in space. And one of the reasons it caught my eye is it reminded me of some of the characters in The Mandalorian um, that I know many of you watched this winter. And it's not a Star Wars story or anything like that, but it just kind of like had a similar feel. So I'm going to go through a little bit of it with you. Chapter one. I mean, check out this like, this like run down town in space. Are those things going to work? Sure. Or, well, probably. So you already get a sense of what kind of story it is. Oh man, I love this. I pulled these thermochargers off an older model, speeder, the D40. Yeah, that rusty one over by the geyser. These chargers are a little small. I flared the connectors a bit with your dad's spanner so they'd fit. It's worth a try. And you see slowly we start to meet these characters. And look, this guy's like a human, like dino mix. This guy is like a human, but with four arms. And then they're like working on this thing. They're like, all right, crank it over. Let's see how we did. Crank, floosh. It's pretty cool, right? I think, I think a lot of you, I could see a lot of you reading this. Again, this is called Quantum mechanics and it's on epic would be a great book for you to have for independent reading okay um the second one i wanted to do is called wink and this is on sora and um wink is under the westchester library system and it's free right now no one's checked it out so if you watch this video and it looks interesting to you get on sora and get it I'm going to show you on Amazon so you can see, um, or you know what, we can just read a sample. So it's about this kid in middle school and he's just been diagnosed with like some sort of weird eye cancer. Um, and he just wants to get through seventh grade and not have it suck, but he's having a hard time with that because he has to wear this like, you know, crazy, like kind of mask patch thing. And that's probably why it's called a wink. Um, it's written from his perspective and it's like a very personal story, but there's also like, he writes like comics and stuff where he kind of like writes these little comics where he's dealing with what he's dealing with in real life. Um, Throughout there, there's little drawings with captions, and this book just has amazing reviews. So it's called Wink, and it's on Sora if you're interested. Um, and I really feel like if you are in for something funny with a bit of a serious twist, that this could really be the book for you. Um, and again, like I said, it's available. All right, so get on Sora and get it. The other one that I suggested from Sora, now this one isn't available. You'd have to place a hold, but I still wanted to show you because it really connects to what we've done this year. It's called When Stars Are Scattered. And um, it's based on a refugee camp in um, Kenya. This book looks awesome. And it's a graphic novel, which I know some of you care about. Some of you don't, but some of you do. So let's see. Um, I don't know why it's not loading. Let me load it here. I just clicked on the Amazon link. I'll just do it here. Sorry about that.
And I think it's from the same um, author of Roller Girl. And I know a lot of you read that. So James, I know it's not available now, but this might be something you're interested in because it's based off of actual kids in a refugee camp and off of a real camp. So look, these tents were probably built by these organizations. So, sorry, I got caught reading this. It looks like such a cool story. So if you're looking for a graphic novel that's both informative and connects to a topic we spent a lot of time with and is just like beautiful and cool, well, When Stars Are Scattered is for you. It is on Sora under the um, Westchester Library collection, but you will have to put a hold on it. All right, I hope you enjoyed my book talk. Again, in the comments, keep the discussion coming. I want to hear which books you thought were interesting, what you might look into. And all as always, if you find some books on Sora or Epic or Capstone, please post them. All right, thank you.